here we are finally, the first Loco review of 2017. I know the past couple of years I've done one pretty much right at the start of every year, but really to be honest, yeah, um, just had a more quiet, steady start to, um, uh, to this year really, because yeah, it's been, been, been quite busy overall. <clears throat> but here we are with a, yeah, yeah, with finally a Loco review, um, one that's visiting here this time. Again, uh, yeah, once again from my good friend James, and and here it is. It's a Hornby one. Uh, well, well, not an old, but an older Hornby one. Yep. A ALC Coco Diesel Electric Class 59 locomotive, number 59102. And he got this for not a bad price, 49.99. Yeah, it's the playing uncle of picture, of course, and. Box isn't too bad. Love it. A little, a little few shabby areas, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm borrowing this. It's going to be featured in the in the Diesel Gala, which is going to be uploaded um, either towards the end of March or really April. Hopefully, well, you're yeah, hopefully next month. Uh, I guess it comes with a DCC jacket uh, and the usual instructions. So so yeah. Now, first thing I just I just want to point out, um, she's missing all but one buffer. Um, yeah, you just see there, I'm missing the buffer that yeah on the drawing is there completely. But um, but well, yeah, James isn't sure where the buffers are at the moment. But um, I think I think you can buy spare. Wait, can you buy spare parts or spare or spare or spare buffers? Um, let me know in the comments if you do. But apart from that, let's just let's just get her out. Yeah, of course, the older polystyrene um, tray box. Apart from missing all but one buffer, the rest of her is fine and fully and fully intact. Yep, uh, with the big ARC livery. Yeah, yeah, she's got no scratches or marks. On it. Oh, and she runs fine as well. She runs fine. We'll see. We'll see her running shortly after a quick look. I mean, I've, I mean, uh, yeah, again, um, of course, basically the um, the same as, as the 66s, aren't they? You know, there's very little difference. You know, the shed shape roof and I love these huge big big bogies as well. And this one's got a name. Let's see if we can get it into focus. Well if not, um it's called um yeah, fifty nine one oh two Village of Chantry. It might not focus as well there, just uh, you, Oh yeah yeah, yeah, right there you are. Just just be able to pick it out. And you can see, yeah, a bit of cab detail in there. So yeah, yeah. Let's try not to let the missing, well, missing all but one buffer thing bother us too much. We might be able to get some more for her. I'm still going to feature it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not sure how long that'll take. But um, yeah, still going to feature it in the diesel gala. And yeah, um, missing one coupling hook uh, here. But I've got a few spare. I might, I might be able to find a spare one for. Her. But yeah, again, you know, she is in good condition. She, you know, she runs well. My friend James, he. You know, he does look after his locos um, very well. It's just, again, yeah, you know, if, if you think about it, they are delicate. Accidents can happen. Well, I don't think she's actually been in a in, in an accident or, like, a serious rail derailment, but, well, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you get what I mean. But, yeah, and again, um, I like this livery, yeah. Yeah, you see there with the big, yeah, I like the big ARC lettering there that, um, yeah, in that font looks good. Oh, I'm just I have to be careful there. I, I, I'm not sure if is is that is that is that bit meant to be like that or it's just a, a bit of a catchy bit there. But again, she, I, again, she's not really old, but she is an older model. I think Hornby discontinued their 59s a while ago. I think now. I, 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 sorry, my arm my arm was blocking the light a bit there. Oh, just in a funny angle. Again, yeah, the light's not always the best in my room, so again, apologies for the rather dark you know, darkest shots sometimes, either when I do looker reviews, the main layout, the window bottom layout, it just can't really be helped to be honest, well, um, but yeah, um, you see quite a bit of detail there, the fuel tank area, um, most of it's moulded on, but some, but some separately fitted parts there, again, yeah, it still look, it still looks good, you know, it is, it is nicely detailed, um, she's a DCC ready model as well, it's, yeah, it's a DCC ready on the box here, She's very smart. Again, I love the long, you know, just the long length 
of the of these 59s and 66s as well. Yeah, but again, the 59s are older than than the 66s, aren't they? They're they're quite they're quite a bit older. And again, yeah, with her, yeah, her older polystyrene tray box, um, yeah, st it still holds on, on Britex so well. It's still in, in, in overall okay condition, yeah, as well as the box itself. So yeah, again, yeah, um, all, uh, yeah, she's um, not, you know, not really missing anything else. Again, um, the uh, light little thunder parts here, on the bottom, on the bottom of, of the bogies, they're all still there and intact. Again, there is that bit there uh, again yeah 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 just there you can just see it um it, it, it's all like sticking down or sticking up a bit um i, th I think it's intact or, or if it's just come a bit loose or sticking up more than it should be but uh, apart from that there's nothing really majorly wrong with it it's a uh, she, she's a smart model Again, well, yeah. If you if you if you think about it, I suppose some models can lose parts over time, or well. But honestly, my friend James, he, he does. Um, honestly, he does take care of them. I'm 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 not sure how long um, how long he's had this model, or if the buffers like were already loose when he got it. I can't quite remember. But yeah, apart from that, she still looks in fine condition. Just get some quick. More, more close detail before before we get her on the track. Yep, yep. The layout is fi is finally back up again, and you can just pick up the cab detail in there. Can clearly read her nameplate there. Village of Chantry. Right, let's get her on the track. Okay, now at the layout we have a free track here. Let's see her run. Yep, she's running really well, very smoothly. Yeah, I'm going to do a, another video of her after this, of her pulling a train. A type of freight one. So yeah, once again she's running really well, she sounds nice and smooth as well. So yeah, next video will be of her pulling a freight train, or hauling a freight train should I say. <laughs> 